Hey everyone, it's so good to see you. We've got October specials for Europe market, the European market. We're gonna cover the emotional, energetic, and of course also the physical aspects. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Jada Hansen. I am a diamond with doTERRA and I love diving into some of the energetic aspects of the oils. Of course, I love them for the physical aspects, but what I've found over the last eight years of really diving into the world of essential oils is that whenever we have anything physical, the root cause has often been an emotional reason. And the best way I can describe that is like, I just recently had an old neck injury happen again. So yesterday I spent the day in the hospital because a neck injury decided to pop back up. Now, some people can be like, it's pure coincidence, but when you really look at it, the day that I ended up going back into the hospital was the exact same day that I went in for the surgery 12 years prior or 11 years prior, 2010, October 12th. And then people can be like, yeah, but it could be any coincidence. You did any movement, la la la. Here's the thing though. When something comes up to the surface and is ready to be healed, it's often not in a pretty way. That's why I love calling it gracious healing, because how do we take all of the stuff that's coming up to the surface and do it as gracefully as possible? I've been doing yoga for many years. I've been doing headstands for many years. Why would the headstand just in the specific moment come up? because the body is remembering something and the tools, the essential oils that we have are there to support us in moving through this and heal this layer of the onion so we can peel it back and reveal more of who we truly are. So I am excited to bring to you the rosemary and then the cassia oil. These are the oils in Europe this month that are special. So if you place your LRP order, which is the loyalty rewards program between the first and the 15th of the month, you will get a rosemary for free. And the rosemary I love, I mean, it has a lot of physical properties that I enjoy. It's a, incredibly good for the respiratory system. So if you have a cough that you cannot get rid of, apply two to four drops with a carrier oil and either massage it directly into the lung area or the reflect points under the feet. You can also diffuse it together with any other oil that, of your choice, and it really will elevate that for you. For any mental um, and adrenal fatigue, it is incredible to inhale. For the adrenals, you can massage it directly over the adrenals. So the adrenals are gonna be on your lower back. When you have um, just above the hip area, and put your hands on your back, both of them at the same time, that's typically gonna be your adrenal area. If you wanna have internal support, put two drops in a capsule and take the capsule um, as needed. For focus and for memory issues, it's incredibly good rubbing it directly over the forehead, brings mental clarity. And when you're inhaling it, you will smell it. It's, it's a hibacus oil. So you're gonna feel the clarifying, cleansing properties, but also the herbs, which is going to create alertness. Super great for congestion, any cold flu symptoms, you can ingest it one to two drops in a capsule or directly over the chest. You can also put it in a hot water bath, put a towel over the head and inhale the steam. One of the things that rosemary is really incredible for is low blood pressure. So you wanna massage it with carrier oil onto your legs and at the bottoms of the feet to get that circulation going. Um, you can even add cypress in there with it if you want, but especially for the low blood pressure, Post flying long trips, those of you that know me for the last six years, I've been flying, flying, flying. I'm finally now slowing down, but jet lag, it's so great in the temples at the back of the neck and for supporting hair growth, stimulating that hair growth. I love to put two drops in with your shampoo. If you have a congested uh, scalp, you can even make a mix with lavender, cedarwood, and rosemary, two drops of each, massage it into the scalp first, leave it for two minutes, 
and then massage as needed. You can do that, do that for a couple of days. And then you can add the rosemary into the shampoo. As you're shampooing, you're going to stimulate that hair growth. So those are really the physical aspects. The energetic aspects is going to be all about transition and knowledge and moving you through from one phase to another. So true knowledge and true intellect, when we look at that, it's not just being book smart, but having the true knowledge internally and learning to listen to those signs, listening to what's coming up so that we're not relying on outside uh, factors. There's obviously value in listening to other people, but ultimately the true knowledge is going to be coming from within. This will also teach us a non-attachment because sometimes we can be married to how this should be, or we're married to an outcome or a piece of knowledge that it must be this way. But what Rosemary does is actually open us up to there might be greater knowledge for us to be receiving from the divine, from our internal compass, if we're willing to cast away what we thought it was supposed to be. So really teaching us this non-attachment. Also, it's incredible to adjust, right? It's great to adjust to anything new. If you're starting a new job, if you're in a new relationship, you're moving to a new home, it's incredible oil for this adjustment. Again, something new, something that might support us even greater than what we thought and what we were thinking it was going to be. It also teaches us that there is a higher power, i.e. our intellect, that will always have a far greater knowledge. And finally, with children, when there is a learning disability, this oil can really, really, really be supportive, both in um, the diffuser, you can put it in the roller ball, you can put it on the temples, on the back of the neck. It supports the children in understanding in their tempo, but really diminishing these feelings of, oh, there's something wrong with me, but rather accepting that how they are learning is perfect for them. Um, one of the books that I have just gotten recently that I absolutely love is also Elements of Emotions. It's Desiree's book. I do highly recommend you picking it up. There is an element to this. It's, it's necessary to read it because she ties in all the Chinese medicine. But what I really love about this is that it also talks about the channels that this oil is really great for. And this oil is really incredible for specifically lungs, liver, spleen, heart, and kidneys. So any of those circulatory or respiratory or any of those organs where you need extra support, that is where you'll really, really benefit from this oil. The other oil that we're going to talk about is cassia. Cassia is uh, very similar to uh, cinnamon. It's a little bit sweeter, where cinnamon can be a little bit more spicy, but it is still very spicy, and we do not recommend that you put it on the body neat ever. You always, always, always want to dilute. I have here a carrier oil. This is the new limited edition body oil. Um, but we also use the fractionated coconut oil and you always, always want to dilute. You can see it's very, very smooth. It's going to go straight into your skin. So with the fractionated coconut oil or the body oil, you can even use jojoba if you want. You can use a sesame oil, almond oil. Those tend to be a little bit more fat. So I prefer these because the fat molecules have been taken out and it's going to penetrate right into your skin with the cassia oil. Okay, so cassia, like I said, it's steam distilled from the bark and it is very similar to cinnamon. It's incredibly good for your digestive system. So if you're having issues with um, purging that you're not necessarily want, right, vomiting, you want to do one to two drops in a capsule to restore the proper digestion. It's excellent for any virus or any bacteria. You can diffuse it in the air. It's one of the main ingredients in the new Huka and, and the abode line. We have a lot of this in there because it's so cleansing to the air quality. 
Uh, you can also, if you have had issues with any um, viral stuff, you can take two drops in a capsule internally and it will be great for this. Um, should you suffer from water retention in the body, like you can't release it, you can massage it into the bottoms of your feet or in a carrier oil, massage it into your legs. You can put one drop in a full bath. No, no more than one drop. It would be too, too hot and it's going to be uncomfortable and burn your skin. So I really recommend massaging it versus a bath just because I've had personal experience with the bath. It's not fun. Uh, blood sugar balance. We know cinnamon is very good for this. So is cassia. One to two drops in a glass of water if you're getting those sugar cravings is amazing. If you're having issues with sex drive, you want to heavily dilute. I'm going to say heavily, heavily, heavily dilute. We're talking at least two ounces of carrier oil to one drop of um, cassia. And you can massage it in for a warm, soothing just comforting, spicy massage, or you can simply diffuse it. Diffusing it is going to get some of that circulation flowing. Metab metabolism support. So a boost, you can apply it under your feet and massage it into the reflex points. And it's great additionally for cooking. So it's a beautiful flavor. I like to mix it in my water um, for energy. So I'll just do lemon and cassia, two drops of each, and I'll put it in a, um, let me show you this bottle right here. I'll put it in a large bottle like this. It's 75 centiliters or a liter. And you put two drops of lemon, two drops of cassia. It is really, really, really yummy. So let's talk a little bit about the energetic aspects of cassia. Cassia is the oil of self-assurance. And I find that it's like one of these oils that's all about rebirthing. It's one of these oils that for anyone who's shy or timid, when you first start using this oil, you might still feel that you're shaky, but it's going to give you this encouragement to keep going. So that could also be in following your dreams. If you've been kind of asleep and not been dreaming for a while, you haven't had the courage to dream, this oil can really be a fire starter, a kickstarter, okay? So it's beautiful to diffuse, it's beautiful to drink, um, it's a great oil to dispel fear. So I like to mix it with other oils. Like I don't like it pure. I really, really like it as a, as a starter for hidden beliefs of, I might not be good enough, or I might be scared to try something new. Adding that cassia in there, it just grabs that underbelly of this belief that, I might not be able to do it, right? Um, even if I've worked on it and in my conscious mind, I'm like, of course I believe it. Of, of course I can obtain it. There could be your 95% of what's running this narrative in your body is your subconscious. So it could be so deep buried in your unconscious, right? That this will support you in getting it going. For people that have a difficulty speaking in public spaces, definitely diffuse while you're writing your speech. You can make it into a glass of water that you drink before you go on stage. Those kind of things to really help yourself feel that you're coming out of your shell. One other thing that I love about Cassia is, um, you know, oftentimes when people are scared to be judged, it's because they really have this deep, deep, wanting to be accepted of being in a community. And Cassia will help you maybe just not even just overcome being seen, but help you be your true self. So whether that community accepts you or not, you're living in your truth so that your true community can find you. And that to me is just the real benefit of freedom, right? When you no longer start to question oh, well, can I say this? Will it be accepted? But I'm going to say it. This is my truth. And those who need to hear my message will hear me. They will find me. And now I'm free. 
that to me is the ultimate freedom. So again, back to some of the channels and the Chinese medicines that it's really supporting, it's supporting the lungs, heart, kidneys, and liver. So you can see together with the rosemary, how those two oils are such great companion oils, because one is getting you out of the shelf, the other one is having you trust yourself fully. So I am just in love with this month special. Just to mention in Europe, there is an enrollment special as well. If you're brand new and you're enrolling, um, you're going to get different gifts. There's a deep blue rub, there's on guard uh, lozenges. There's some really great stuff. Make sure to check it out. Really excited to be with you and bring you this uh, message for October. And I can't wait to see what you guys do with the oils. We're going to be sending out, uh, obviously, the newsletter with a little bit more education in there. And please, please, please make sure you join us on Mighty Network, because last month or last week, even, we saw what happened when 20, I think for about 12 hours, all of the social media platforms were down, Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, you name it. And all of our content is still living on Mighty Network. That is one of the main reasons why we moved there is so that we privately have our content. No one else can take it down. Okay. Pleasure to be with you guys. Big kiss.